there are many elements, but I think dance is inherently joyful because moving your bodies, and one of the things we say is that if you can blink your eyes, you can dance. Everybody really can dance. And so part of the exploration that we start on day one is finding how if we create a movement, we can make a translation for all different kinds of dancers with all different kinds of abilities. So it creates this kind of beautiful unison that's not a strict unison like ballet class, but a kind of unison that celebrates everybody's unique abilities. Don't run me into Alexa, please. Go. Push. Not that the dancers with disabilities can't dance on their own, but when we use the program as a catalyst to facilitate connections and create relationships between children with and without disabilities, it became this beautiful thing. And the possibilities for dance expand exponentially, but also the possibilities for transformation. If I take my hand here and I hold her hand here, I can just help stretch her up and then I can move her hand, right? Okay. So you don't want to move fast, but if you move slow, it goes with you. Exactly that, bringing it all together so that children, you know, we, we do a screening before the children participate in the program so that I can sort of see what potential they have. I'm not interested in what they can't do and trying to make that better. I'm interested in trying to augment what they can do. So we identify those and then Kay and I get together with the other dance artists and we try and figure out how to, how to really put a spotlight on that. What does dancing make you feel? Happy. Or, or glad, or, or really, or really, or really ha excited. When I feel happy, I'll make the sun bright and it shine. <laughs>